Hey guys, it's Dan with Adventuring Today. Thanks for being here today. Good to see ya. Um, what are we doing here at today at my RV storage facility? This is my Mesa Ridge right here. Um, we're here to talk about one of the most uh, overlooked upgrades that most people should do to, let's just stick with travel trailers, to their travel trailers. So it apply to fifth wheels and other things that you might pull behind your, your truck. Um, most people, when they start thinking about upgrades to their, their recreational vehicles or they're adding on um, Wi-Fi boosters or they're, you know, maybe upgrading sound systems or televisions, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can do to them. But what doesn't get upgraded is the lug nuts. <laughs> and I'm telling you, this is a, something that everybody should do, especially if you drive in cold climates at all. If you're just a, even there one week out of the year in a cold climate, you need to upgrade your lug nuts. Um, I'm upgrading all the lug nuts today on my travel trailer. Uh, there's two boxes of lug nuts. Cost me 44 bucks on Amazon. And here's the picture of what I purchased. Now, when you look for these lug nuts, a couple things you need to be careful about. One is how the lug nuts seat. So you can see in this picture that that some lug nuts have a flat seat and some have a, a V-shaped seat or an angled seat. Uh, my lug nuts that came off of my vehicle have the V, so I, I purchased the V. Now, back to, uh, back to what we were talking about. So why do you want to upgrade these lug nuts? Well, here's the reason. So this is a lug nut that came off of my vehicle and my travel trailer. And you can see right here, there is this little uh, cap. It's a chrome cap that's over this steel lug nut. And um, what happens is that a little bit of moisture will work its way inside these lug nuts over time. And then when it gets cold outside below freezing, that water will freeze and it will make this outside chrome cap on your lug nut expand. And then you can no longer get a socket over that lug nut. So what happens is you're driving along the highway, maybe you've got a leak in your tire, God forbid it didn't blow, but let's just say you had a leak in your tire and you need to change that tire, you can't get your, your, your socket to go around that lug nut and now what do you have to do? A simple tire change on the side of the highway can lead to a ruined weekend vacation or a ruined RV trip and you've got to tow this thing into a tire repair place and have them uh, fix that or you know roadside assistance or something to help you out so uh, like I say what I did is I am I'm in the process of upgrading to these solid one-piece lug nuts uh, to replace the junk ones that came on the travel trailer now this isn't a knock on Mesa Ridge or open range or Highland Ridge who manufactures uh, my RV um, you'll find these on Jayco's you'll find these on Grand Designs you find them all across the industry, and I don't know why the manufacturers don't spend the extra, you know, probably from a, a cost perspective for a manufacturer, maybe 10 bucks to upgrade all the lug nuts to a solid piece like this and just take away what could be a potentially a huge headache for people. So I wanted to, uh, to share with you the, the idea of, of changing out your lug nuts because this can just save a, a huge headache. Now, let's uh, run over to the RV real quick. And I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips on lug nuts on RVs. So let's just walk over here. I've got a couple of them that I've broken loose. And so here we are. I get you a good view of what we're doing here. Okay, so I've got a couple lug nuts that I that I have broken loose. And so now I can just easily unscrew these with my with my hands. And thankfully, you know, these lug nuts right here are okay. They're, they haven't expanded and so forth. Um, I would suggest if you're replacing the lug nuts, you just do two at a time. Um, that way, um, you know, the, the, the wheel will stay against the hub securely. I've got six lug nuts on this, this uh, on each wheel. And if you just replace two at a time that are opposing each other, so this one here at three o'clock and this one at nine o'clock, then the wheel will stay secure when you um, use your torque wrench to tighten those down again. So um, another another key with changing these lug nuts is you, you want to use your body weight. Now, I would say probably, you know, the average person who owns an RV um, is over the age of, let's say, 25 years old. Was that fair to say? <laughs> um, 
So, you know, these, my, my lug nuts have 160 pounds of torque on them. That's from the manufacturer. So that, that's a lot of weight. And that's, that's more than, you know, some guys weigh and more than a lot of women weigh. So how do you get these lug nuts off? Well, you have to have a, a, a torque wrench like this. So this is gonna tell you exactly how much torque you're applying to the, to the, the nut, but you wanna use your body weight when tightening it. Um, if you're, you don't wanna lift up like this when you're loosening it, you wanna use your body weight. So if you're taking it off, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna push down with your body weight to loosen that nut. Um, on, the, on the opposite, if you're tightening it, don't lift up like this to, to tighten it. Um, you're gonna hurt your back. So you just use your body weight, you push down, and you wait for it to click. There was a click, you hear that? And that's it, so that, that's a key. I can't tell you how many times people are out changing their tire in their car, and I see them lifting up and not using their body weight to loosen the lug nuts and um, they to feel bad for them because eventually they are gonna end up hurting themselves. It's a kind of an awkward position, you're down low and it would just be a lot better if they would just use their body weight. So just a little tip there. But anyway, so I'm gonna continue on here and, and replace these on my vehicle and uh, hopefully that was a, uh, a tip to help, help solve some headaches down the road for folks. So um, one, one last thing I'm gonna show you here, and that is my lug nuts are a little bit longer than what was stock. And I chose that on purpose because my, there's very little space between my wheel and the lug nut, so I have to use a, a real thin walled uh, uh, socket. So I wanted one that stuck out just a little bit more. I think nobody will ever know the, notice the difference, but uh, it's just make it a little bit easier to get a socket, a socket in there. Um, anyway, so that's my video for the day. Hope that was helpful. Don't forget to change out your lug nuts. <laughs> Got any questions, please let me know. Thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and share with all your friends. Thanks again, guys. Have a good day. Bye.